I think the freshman 15 has been found to be more like a freshman seven, you know, so they don't, it's not really 15 pounds. Uh, so there is really something called the freshman 15, but it's really more like the freshman seven. You have to think about um, the way you look at your food. The way I, I try to think of it is like the food you eat should match the day that you have. So if you have a day where you're going to be sitting a lot of the day, so if you have a day where you're in, your class, you're in class all day long and then you're going to go to the library, then your food needs to be a lot of color, fruits and vegetables on your plate. So most of the time for most people on campus, every time they eat, about half their plate should be fruits and vegetables. So the starchy foods, which is what everybody eats the most of in America, the bread, the pasta, the crackers, potatoes, and things like that, really needs to be a smaller part of the plate for most people when they're sitting all day long. Mindfulness and mindful eating is really gaining a lot of traction in all parts in all parts of life, all walks of life where people are trying to sit down and eat without having their phones out and without having the TV on. And I've done this with some of our athletes in the past and going a week without looking at your phone while you're eating is really, really one of the most difficult things any of our athletes try to do when they're trying to learn how to be a little bit more mindful about the food they eat. Some other stuff that you can do as far as just trying to slow down and to not stress as much is to put your fork down between each bite that you take and just really try to slow down. Um, other ways to relieve stress, you know, taking a walk. So I think that people in general, when we think of exercise, we think of like going really hard at it to exercise, but a long walk is a way to burn calories and reduce stress. The best healthy tip I can give you is to shop the outside of the grocery store. So the outside, the outside aisles are the produce section, the fresh meats, uh, and the frozen foods. So you want to stay a, as far away as you can from the middle of the, food, middle of the store because that's where most of the processed foods are. So you think about when you go to the grocery store in the middle you've got the chips and you've got the cookies and the soft drinks and stuff are always right in the middle of the store. So if you start and start filling up your cart by going around the outside first, you're gonna fill it up with the healthier foods.